Toe is Met Leather. Let's start. And Killen's going to take it. And Killens will be bounced around. He won't even get out to the 20 yard line. Stopped at the 18. We've talked about him already, but here he is, a junior from Hawaii, Mackenzie Milton. 19 consecutive games with a touchdown pass. He is in the top five in the NCAA in total offense, and he has a good chance to pass 1,000 career rush yards today. Milton, down he goes. That's just the third time that he has been sacked this season. And John Tate, the redshirt sophomore, is hungry for more. Big play and, and stand by this Memphis defense to get things rolling. And you're going to see this is just really a three-man rush. But Tate is able to beat the center and get home. And that, that's just a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And John Tate got it done. So that'll bring out the punter, Mac Loudermilk. He's a good one. John Williams, Pop Williams, is a good returner. And he's clearing out the traffic, and that will hook out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. When he came here, he needed another quarterback after losing Riley Ferguson, and he pulled the switch. The most explosive running back in college football this year is Daryl Henderson. He's brought down by Richie Grant. He goes out for the pattern here. White goes underneath. This is Magnifico, the tight end, and leaping for the first down. Is the redshirt junior from Cordova, Tennessee. Plenty of time for White. Fires and it's knocked away. Incomplete. Coxie had it and then he didn't. Neville Clark able to break that up. It's fourth down and five. Massive weather conditions here in Memphis today. And he will curve that one right down the middle. Memphis has the early lead in this American Conference matchup. Scott Frost, and you have a new head coach. We'll get into that here in just a moment. As now UCF breaking a big play here on the handoff and a big opportunity down the field into Memphis territory goes Marlon Williams. Well, he got a great block by Greg McCray on the edge, basically pinning the Memphis outside contained defender inside, and that gave Williams plenty of room to the edge and lightning fast UCF Milton he'll fire it high caught right around the marker and that's Williams again with a terrific catch and that should be another first down for the Knights McCray again pretty much the same play he busts this one inside the 10 and fighting for a couple additional yards McCray with a big run Josh Perry finally stopped him 22 yards later and this is uh, a great block by number 86 Kula Bialy the tight end he now number four Taj McGowan comes in at the tailback spot he'll get it and he's in touchdown They love to use McGowan in the red zone. And because it's the reason is he's 6'2", 210. He's their biggest back by quite a, quite a bit. And so he'll get the extra power, and he showed it there. Good push up front by the offensive line. A smart drive by these Knights to grab the lead. The explosive Tony Pollard. And this paid off for the field position game. But Henderson can change field position very quickly. Look at him go here. Henderson is running. And Brandon Moore chases him. What a spectacular run for Henderson. He's done it again. That's the bang and go. Randy Shannon was worried about the defensive coordinator of the Knights. Once he gets to that second level, Henderson is going to go a long way. Delayed blitz. White guns it near the mark. That's going to be really close to see what they do with forward progress here. And it looks like they're going to be just short. You're faced with fourth down and less than a yard to go here. Yeah. He does, and he gets the first down easily for Henderson. Do you see the same guy I see when I watch Henderson, which is Marshawn Lynch? That's relatively quick. They got one second, and they got it off just in time, and Henderson is taken down. All of that ended up in a loss as Neville Clark wasn't buying anything that was being sold. White under pressure. He's going to have to take off and see if he can outlive this himself. He can maybe get to the end zone. He does. Now 999 yards on the season. Now can you see a counter punch? They give it to Anderson, and he's going to be driven out of bounds. They have one. Milton 
Three-man rush causes a pressure, and he's sacked again. It's the same guy that got him the first time, John Tate. Tate's having himself a ball game thus far. Now Milton comes out firing. It's going to be caught out of the flat. He had a long way to go on third down. This will be way short of the first down, and UCF will most likely have to punt. A lot of spin on this punt. Fair catch, Williams, 39-yard line. Good field position for the Memphis Tigers. For this offense. Well, he's had a nice job in these third and long situations. He's got another one here, and White on the run. Fires, it's right at the mark, and a first down and more. Pop Williams will take it into UCF territory at the 45-yard line, a gain of 13. Now, they haven't been third and one or two either. Henderson. Look out here, Henderson, 10 yards and more. Henderson, that's a touchdown saving tackle by Aaron Robinson. Seconds to one. They get it off just as the quarter was about to end. Henderson to the five, touchdown Tigers! The best running back in the country, certainly at the moment. Opportunity here now for UCF and Killens look out here. He's got great speed Killens Will be chased out of bounds. I think that was the kicker Riley Patterson who ran him out Fakes to Killens Milton passes tipped deflected by Bryce Huff Memphis holds Oh, and they had uh, the receiver wide open We're out of six on third down for the Tigers Blitz. White got his man. That's a chain mover. First down, but there is a penalty marker down at the 44. Personal foul. Hands to the face. Defense number six. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. That is. White. That's incomplete. Fourth down and eight. You got a lot of support from people around here. He's going to get some more support. He is two for two today, and Memphis extends their lead to 20 to seven. But a... and they missed on a fourth down as well. Milton's going to keep it here, but looking deep, slings it underneath, has his man. That's Davis. He could go. Davis. He will go. Touchdown, Knights. 75 yards. This is an RPO where he's going to actually that looks like play action to me. I think that was pass all the way. They felt like they had something on that inside breaking route and they did. Lindsey couldn't make the play and Davis goes to the house and all of a sudden things are looking a little brighter for the Knights. White throw right into the middle of the field. A good catch made there by Kadarian Jones and Jones will move the chains first down to the 36 yard line. White, that is going to be a run pass option as he slings it down the field. The catch is made and a whole lot more for Coxey. 25 and down about the 22-yard line. DeMonte Coxey out of reserve, Louisiana. Brought down by Brandon Moore after a big game. Take. <laughs> well, he's in the pattern. They play off the block and it's going to be short of the first down with Pollard on the catch. Well, Tate was open. I'll yes, say that right. He was. He was ready for the quick <laughs> screen. He wanted the ball. All right, you're fourth and about three here. Kick it. I think you get your points when you can. Then no. Preston Brady, the holder. And Patterson is three for three. Memphis is five for five today when they've had the football and putting points on the board. Milton's got a pocket fight. He hit the receiver right in the hands. That was Nixon who could not hang on. Oh, out of four on third down, and UCF will bring out Loudermilk again. His feet uh, caught underneath him a little bit. Left footed, and Loudermilk roots this one. Williams trying to make one man miss. He did. Williams found a little gap there. Williams 30. And, ooh, man, now, there was a big hit in there. Pop. They're trying to add that right here. Plays off the block. There you see that. 33 yard line and a saving tackle by Rashard Causey. It is unparalleled. Gonna get another crack at it. And here you saw a great example of what you were just talking about right there, Ray. He's accelerated to the 19. And 174 against UConn. Now Pollard, and he'll breeze in. Touchdown, Tigers. They have scored on all five of their drives.
jumped in there, but it's a tough call. Milton has got plenty of time. Now he escapes Wilson. Look out here, throws, and he has it. Mackenzie Milton makes it happen. The catch made by Otis Anderson to the 40-yard line. It's first down for UCF. A good pocket there for Milton to throw into, and he just lasers one in there for another first down for UCF. A catch there by Trey Nixon, 19 seconds remaining. Yep, and just throw it on the ground. Now they're going for it. They still have those timeouts. Milton. Oh, yes, he caught it. Dredrick Snelson's first catch of the day is a spectacular one. <laughs> the Memphis defense, you can see, they're still looking around for where they're supposed to be. A little bit out of position. But how about that concentration? Snelson goes up. Gets the hands on it and follows it with his eyes. I mean, that's outstanding. And he drilled it. Main Street. I think Coach Heupel's exactly right about getting the running game going. That'll open things up. Well, the running game has been going for Henderson as he drags a defender for an 11-yard gain. A little more yards after contact for Henderson. In the face of pressure. Pollard. He won't get there. Excellent job by the Knights defensively. And for the first time today, we're going to get a punt from Memphis unless they go. And they got it off in about 10 seconds after the play was declared dead. And a sharp throw by Milton. And a great catch by Snelson. First down, UCF for the 35-yard line. And here in the first half as well. And they're trying to crank it up here. And they do crank it up here with Killens making a few defenders miss. And a first down down to the Memphis 40-yard line. Mm -hmm. Milton sacked again. Third time today. This time it's Joseph Dorcius who comes through with a big sack. And here's. I'll just go ahead and let it run. But he came off the edge, the top edge, and it's a blown protection by this offensive line for UCF. Nobody touched Dorcius. John Tate had the other two sacks. Loudermilk now will have to try to drop this in the bucket. And Pop Williams makes a catch with a player right in his face at the 12-yard line. Henderson again, and they're just waiting on him that time. There was nothing available. Titus Davis slammed it shut. It'll be third down and long coming up. Be Brady White firing Henderson, and he will be short of the first down by three yards. Everything off the clock right now as much as they can. Williams roots this. And it's going to be picked up by Anderson. It bounced right Danger. into him at the 35-yard line. So good field position for UCF. Will Fake to him here. Milton winds up, fires long throw, caught first down. Davis right to midfield and falls forward for another yard. UCF got that off in 10 seconds, and that is batted down second time for a swat for Bryce Huff coming in from that left end position. A little bit sidearm. You can see he's trying to get around Huff, but Huff's got great hand-eye coordination. He Milton, a lot of defenders coming in. Boy, they read that play. That was almost pass interference by Dorcius on a screen. So UCF one for seven on third down as Loudermilk, who's an excellent kicker, roots this one. And it took a weird little bounce on him. It actually checked up. And Memphis will take it at the 21-yard line. So after Taylor. Oh, here. Makes a man miss. Taylor, first down and more. He'll get to close to midfield. Maybe this blitz off the edge will help. Here they come. Memphis goes the other way. And this time, UCF defense rises up. Comes up with a stop for a couple. So now. They have a good point there. Every once in a while. White missed it. All right, fourth and four. Now, I thought that this one looks like it's headed to the end zone on the fly. And it is almost. See, everybody bunched up, going forward in their own end zone territory. McGowan. And they're going to get six if McGowan doesn't get caught from behind. He won't. Touchdown, UCF on fourth and two from their own territory. And all of a sudden, a disaster, and now they get nothing with Henderson, and UCF feels like they've turned the corner here. They pulled a couple of linemen, the guard and the tackle. That left a hole for Gilliard to just shoot through, and that's exactly what he did, and makes the hit for a loss. Just ran right into a curtain of white jerseys. So it's going to be third down and about eight to go. 
and the Knights came up with the football at the end of that. And they're still trying to score a touchdown. Yes, they, they actually are. ran to the end zone, <laughs> but they, that one was stopped, I'm fairly certain. That is well. Ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. First down, UCF. But no. Yeah, that ball was out. There's no doubt. Now, Henderson's practically laying on it. He can't find it. That's why it took a while. And then underneath that pile, Clark, sees, he sees it. No one else does. Who's and he goes against Clark it. To one, four, five. First turnover by either team in this game. And suddenly, everything was going Memphis's way, and now it isn't. Yeah, you could see the ball was out, and it came out before Henderson hit the ground. And then he, he doesn't know where it is. It's almost underneath it. Milton, a couple of fakes. Drop the ball, stripped. Memphis has it. Recovered by John Tate. Come, Austin Hall comes off the top. He's the one who gets the pressure, but it looked almost like Milton got hit by his own guy. It looked like the tight end. Thulabi Ali is the one who forced the fumble. And Pollard is going to lose three back to the 24-yard line. Randy Charlton wasn't buying any of the window dressing that Memphis threw up that time. In here, changing the strength. Ball's, Ball's on, on the ground. The rain has really taken this game over. UCF recovers the fumble, or so they say. A big pile up. They'll unpile it, but they did, yes. I believe. There you are absolutely correct, sir. And now they got the jet sweep coming, and it's just a missed handoff. It looked like White got it up into the chest of, of his, his man coming around the edge. With three to snap, Milton gets it. Down the middle, caught! His tight end, Cooley Alley, with a huge grab. And a first down for the Knights in Memphis territory at the 40, make it the 39. Kaluby Ali, he's going to run this little bend route right in front of the safety. Outside where he is now at the bottom of the screen, and that made him change the play. And McCray's going to get a first down and a whole lot more here inside the 10. And a shoestring tackle by Josh Perry kept him out of the end zone. That's the only thing that slowed him down. McCray. No, it's Milton. It's Milton. It is Milton. Did he make it over? Yes! He did! A two and a half gainer for a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, T.J. Carter with the assist on the flip. But we've been waiting and talking about Mackenzie Milton carrying the football. They saved the best for last. Obviously breaks the plane right there. And, uh, had a nice little landing. Strong enough where UCF to run the table. No, it's, it's not going to get them where they need to be, even with those big wins. And a first down yeah. here, Tony Pollard. Ooh, you could see a little bobble there by White. Just the whole rhythm of the play was wiped out. Even then, it looked like White had a tough time with the pass. And he's in some trouble and is able to get rid of it and avoid the sack. Line. Williams has a nice shot with a snap. Kicks this one very, very high. He did his job this time. Williams going to take him inside the 10 yard line, down to about the 8 yard line. Poor field position for UCF as they nurse a one point lead. The down team is 22.2% today. Low snap. Milton under some heat, steps away from it, throws, and it's incomplete. That would have been a first down if right at the sticks was Davis. It's fourth down. Low snap. Lauderbuck did a great job there. Williams. At the 50, in the UCF territory, Williams down to the 41, maybe the 40-yard line. A short field for the Tigers, who need just a field goal to take the lead. White, little pressure, pocket collapsing, and he's sacked for the first time today. Looks like Brendan Hayes got in there. You're going to see number six at the top of your screen. He does a little up-and-under move. Gets a push off of a, a Dustin Woodard and continues his momentum right into the face of Brady White. Now, fake to McCray, Milton. Dumps it off close to the mark. Williams will break a tackle. What the effort there by number seven for Memphis, Curtis Aikens, who was spying Milton and then ended up having to race over to make the tackle. Yeah. McCray, stutter step, disappears. Can't even see him hardly. No gain. Jonathan Wilson, the Swamp Donkey. Low snap, and they're going to have to eat it. 
Mack and Killens were right by it, and uh, Otis Anderson ended up falling on the football. Timeout. A blitz. Loudermilk is averaging 42. They do bring the heat, and Loudermilk is able to get off a sideways wobbler. Williams makes a tough, fair catch at the 15. We got here at home, and the large reason is the play of the quarterback. They what? need it again. Wobbler here, and they're going to get a first down, and the tackle is broken. Coxy, let's see where they mark him out of bounds. All the way past the 40 to the 46. And they find a little hole in the in between the safety and the corner. And I don't know what Clark was biting on. But Backfield is a receiver. He's in there next to White. He slips out. White. Got to do something. He'll throw it to the stick. It's going to be caught in the UCF territory. Goes Dykes, the tight end, to the 35-yard line. That will stop the clock. And that ball start. What a too much time. And now, instead of having that chance at a 52-yard field goal, they lose five yards here. And Travion Tate had a hiccup. Can't believe they didn't just go spike it. Offense, number 72. Five-yard penalty, first down. That was... The clock was running. This penalty includes a 10-second run. Yes, it does. Please reset the game clock to 20 or to 18 seconds. That is so damaging. The clock will start on my signal. And you about it. If you don't get a first down down the middle of the field, you're, you're in big trouble. White in, is in big trouble right now, trying to improvise. Throws on the run. A diving catch is made, but it is not out of bounds. That's it. To the 31-yard line. And that's it. That's the end of the game. UCF has won 19 straight games and none more dramatic than this one.